All right, we're going to start um, building shape number one today for our 20 ISOs project. And uh, the first thing I want to do is make sure to get the overall dimensions. So I'm going to take stock of the height, for instance. That is five un units. It'll be five centimeters when we go to do this. The overall um, depth is six, and the overall width is nine units, nine centimeters. Now, what I also noticed about this object that we want to pay extra careful attention to is that it's symmetrical from here, all right, on this side compared to that side. So since it's a symmetrical part, I'm actually going to try and build just one half of it and then uh, use a feature to make the other half. All right, so let's get into that. So I'm going to start by creating a sketch. That's how we have to start all modeling. I'm going to tap which plane I want to start on, and it's going to be the front plane. I'm choosing the front plane because um, that's essentially the way I want to draw it, and it's really important that we look at this from uh, this being the front view, so looking that direction at the object. All right, in order to create that, I am going to, um, I'll use lines for this. Um, so I'm going to draw from there, kind of snapped to the axis there. I'm going to go up, um, over, down, and back. All right, now that, that may not work out uh, every time the way that I want it to, but I can tell, if I turn off that tool, I can tell that I kept this parallel, which is definitely one of the things I wanted to do. Uh, and then uh, if I take this out, it's going to stay perpendicular um, to that surface, which is exactly what I want. All right, good. So if I go back and look at this, um, that top section, if I, I got to get rid of some of this stuff, don't I? Uh, that top section um, comes out seven blocks to here, and then there's kind of a two block extension from that line right there. So um, I want to kind of use those dimensions to my advantage, and of course it's five units tall. So I am going to now um, dimension. So I'm going to choose the dimension tool. That, and that's supposed to be five centimeters. And then I know I want this distance to be seven. And I want this distance to be nine. All right, now I'm done with my sketch. So now I'm just going to extrude that feature, and that's going to be a 3D um, feature. So I'm going to extrude that. And when I extrude this, I want to make sure to only go the correct distance. And again, I'm only doing this kind of this first piece right here. So that's going to be uh, one unit, one centimeter. So I'm going to do that. Hit check mark. That one's good to go. Now I'm going to start a new feature. I'm going to sketch, um, let's see, on that surface right there. I'm going to hit two fingers and then two finger tap and then I, it's kind of like a right click and then I'm going to hit the view normal to sketch. And then I'm going to come in here and I want to sketch this new part. So this new part, as you might recall, uh, goes right in line with the original. So I'm going to start there. So notice how I tap and I hold, and then I can drag it to where I want it. So I'm gonna lock it in there, and then I'm gonna do another tap, and I'm gonna hold, and that's gonna allow me to bring it to where I want it. I'm just gonna keep doing that. And then, um, that's really gonna be good enough. I, I can also tap and hold and really enclose that if I wanted to. Um, so now I need to dimension that. So this is going to be three units now. And then this section down here is supposed to be five units. And then we're good to go. So it turned black, which means that it's 100% um, constrained. All right, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to extrude that feature. So I'm going to do an extrusion on that right there. And this needs to be two units. Check, and that is done. 
So now I'm basically going to revolt or um, mirror this whole thing. So I'm going to do a 3D feature. It's called Mirror. Um, it is, you're probably seeing it before I do. Where'd it go? Oh, come on, Wilkins. You should see this. Oh, it's right there. It's right in my face. Thank you for being patient with me. So I'm going to do the mirror feature. I'm going to do a part mirror because I want to actually mirror this whole part and have it mirror across. I have to choose the mirror plane. I'm going to choose, I'm going to choose this front plane because that's where that mirror should happen, right? That's where I want it to be. All right, so then I hit check mark, and that part is done.